Well, welcome to Joy of Six here in Sheffield. And I have to say, it's, it's early going at the convention. And what a massive disappointment it is to discover that Little Wars TV are not the biggest celebrities here. In fact, we've stumbled into an even bigger YouTube celebrity, Luke from Geek Gaming Scenic. He's tiny still. <laughs> Nobody knows who I am. Well, maybe this would be an opportunity for Luke to take his terrain making skills to the next level and go down a yeah. few scales to six millimeter. I'm a bit worried about that though. So, I mean, dirt at six mil. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be awfully and sa tough. sand at six mil. I do. So I'm guessing this is your first time to Joy of Six, like us? Yeah, it is. Um, I don't normally come to Sheffield. I mean, it's all right if you like concrete, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so every, everything's gray, isn't it? Yeah. It's England. I've heard that's just how it is around here. <laughs> no, there's prettier areas, but Sheffield's very gray. What kind of shows do you normally go to then? Um, I don't. No? <laughs> no. I tend to go to like Kings of War events. Okay. And then I'll go to Salute. Um, I can't remember. Partisan? Have you ever been to Partisan? I've been to Partisan, yeah. Okay. But I very rarely go because as, as a YouTuber, you know, you get sent a lot of stuff. Right. Or, you, or you've already seen it. So when you go to a show, you're only seeing what you've already seen. Right. So I don't get excited by them. So I don't <laughs> tend to go, which is bad, really. But, yeah. <laughs> well, I have been very excited by uh, some of your latest series on the Normandy build. Yeah, let's talk uh, about that. Those are absolutely fantastic boards. And they're getting, I mean, tons of views. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last one was like 300,000 views. So clearly other people yeah. are into it as well. What uh, What's the origin and the backstory of the project? And uh, how close are you to completion? Because I feel like there might be another board or two coming. There's one board left to do. Um, so Duncan got it, uh, in contact with me over a year ago now and told me his idea. And it was a <laughs> funny story. I was like, we get a lot of customers that come to us asking for board builds. And right. they, they, they want everything. <laughs> As in, I don't know why, have they got space for this? Or <laughs> they, they want things that are completely just, the amount of work could be ridiculous. And I, I, th I thought this was gonna be another one of them great ideas. No, Duncan <laughs> told me his life story and uh, it were actually happening. Yeah, which he, I, he reeled you in. It did, he? it yeah. did. And uh, when he told me about the whole, you know, kid, National Kidney Foundation, because he's, he's yeah. had his kidney transplant now, God bless, yes. um, is uh, on the mend, which is good. Because he has stayed at my house a few times. We've bonded quite, we've come quite close friends since the build. And uh, having him round while I've been at key stages to make sure it's has he wants it, it's been nice. So it turned as a, a business idea. It's now more of a passion project because it's gone on far too long. Um, but I got into it and then Duncan got into it. And then, yeah, that we're just now taking his time with it and getting everything that he wants out of it, really. But I've, I have enjoyed it. I don't know whether I'd do it again, like, but yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. You mentioned Kings of War. Yep. And obviously we're just talking about the Normandy build. Mm -hmm. So historical war gaming, is yeah. it something that you're into and well, that you enjoy? I, the only historical war game that I've played is Bot Action and that's what got me into the hobby. Right. Um, the reason that I'm here at the small scale stuff is, you, did, you saw the video where I made Kings of War smaller. Yes, I loved that. Yeah, yes, it's that just, was really cool. It's just so we can put it on a coffee table. Right. It's the same game, um, but what it is with what is it making me like the six mil stuff it's the fact that you can have your bigger games in a smaller space because when you start a new game having to build a six by four with all the terrain for it everything's a massive commitment and i find sure. that hard to get new people into the hobby whereas if it's smaller you can say look you can paint that i mean a couple of hours throw a few bits down and it's a lot smaller it's easier to store it's not like a life-changing because wargaming is life changing, as in you've got to buy a house that's fit for it. Yeah. You've, you've got to find a partner that don't mind it. That will tolerate yeah. it. That will tolerate <laughs> it. Yes, exactly. As in, yeah. So, at small scale wargaming for me has a place in every household. Because it is a board game. If, especially if you're playing the games that you like, like Warhammer, you know, and you just make them smaller. Yes. The rule system exists. It means you can play it on your dining table, which. You can't do that with 28 more games. Well, your, your shrinking of Kings of War video, I, I was really intrigued when I saw that because right when that came out, our guys were talking about doing a series where we could shrink down the battles of 1066. Yeah. Hastings sort of yeah, being yeah. the capstone and see if we could find a way to do these big epic Dark Age battles on two by two tables yep. with very few figures. And of course, as you said, the only way to do that is if you're gonna go six millimeter. Yeah, yeah. So I think that it's the perfect gateway 
to get new players into doing a huge battle yep. in a scale where they're not going to need a lot of stuff or a huge time investment yeah. to paint all this stuff. It looks cooler. Yeah. As in a, a pipe block looks like a pipe block. It's not 20, 20 guys with pipes right. or Alberts. It's, right. It's a block of men. So here's the real question. Are you going to be able to get out of this show today without buying a six millimeter army? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a historical period I'm interested that would tempt you? Maybe that you haven't war gamed before, but that mm. you're that you're interested in. It'd have to be like War at Roses, I think. Okay. For me, because um, I'm I'm really into like the armored knights, you know, cavalry. Sure. It'd be, it'd be nice to do something around the War of the Roses, maybe. But then it's but then I can use it for fantasy as well. <laughs> it, it does double duty. Yeah. Hey, there's when, no shame when, in no, that. Whenever Luke, I'm doing no shame in whenever that. I'm doing an army or anything like that, I just think, can I use that? It's like I've got a Viking army. <laughs> we can add a troll right that's, in there. That's Norse. Yeah. yeah. We can add a dragon. War yeah. of the Roses. This Very, is a question that I have asked. Don't uh, ask me anything historical. No. It's 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 just. <laughs> It's just commentary. Yeah. I am curious. We have visited a couple War of the Roses battlefields yeah. here on this trip, and our club is, is sort of getting interested in the period. Yeah. It's not something we've gamed before, but there's these incredible personalities, these really famous battles, and we're starting to read about this thinking, this looks really cool. Mm -hmm. The thing I've been asking around here, the locals, is why is it that War of the Roses isn't more popular? It doesn't seem to be in the discourse. I mean, we were at Talton at the battlefield. There's like nothing there. And it's the biggest, bloodiest battle of the War of the Roses. There's nothing. No. Nope. How has this not captured more of the popular imagination? Is it just because it's so old? It's, it's, it's so, so long old, ago? So, but then the Vikings in York are still a massive thing. Right. So How I, did this slip through the cracks? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. Because the, the War of the Roses, some great battles. I mean, there's some great films as in uh, that featuring the time period and everything. And it's like, I, I, I mean, there's a castle at the end of my street. As in, yeah. the, the, the history in Yorkshire with castles and everything is amazing, but yet any sort of medieval time period, there's nothing that's been cool and kept. <laughs> As, if you go back at, you know, to Viking times, go to York, it's very popular, but then I'm thinking, is it because it's all gl glamorized by TV and the roses here is not really... Mm. Well, hopefully you'll sneak out of here with a War of the Roses army. Might do. Because that would be great for a little two-by-two -two table. Yep. So let's wrap up with this. Mm -hmm. uh, what's coming next for the channel? I'm, I view almost all of your videos. I've gotten some great terrain tips mm -hmm. from your boards. Actually, the water you did water features. It's now been a couple of years, yeah, yeah. but I've gone back and seen how you did the gel for the water features, yeah, and yeah. I'm working on that for a table right now. It's been really helpful. Uh, what do you have coming up in the pipeline? Are you going to be doing more table builds like the Normandy series? Uh, yeah, I mean, the ones that I'm moving into a new unit soon. Uh, with, there's a lot more space, so I can build a couple of sets. Uh, so for terrain building and uh, for board building, like big things. Um, I am wanting to work on um, a kill team table with the McFarlane models. <laughs> okay. So seven inch scale. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a new scale, yeah. Um, so take going the opposite way. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll have to find a home. Um, yes, you need the space yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I am working on a small scale gaming uh, army at the moment. Small scale for me, it ticks a box. And I really want to go down it. If people stop watching it though, I might have to move things <laughs> like, but yeah, as in, I want to go more down the small scale thing. I want to do Kings, the one one board that I do want to do is I'm going to build six by four table for Kings of War. Okay. But I'm going to do it at 10 millimeter scale. Ooh. So the hard trays will actually be full of models That's rather neat. than 30 models. It'll right. Be It'll look like a horde. It'll be hundreds of models. Yeah. Wow. So that means the forest will look like a forest rather than three trees on the base. So I can do a proper scenic table that's to scale. So it'll actually look like war on a total war, hopefully. Fantastic. So that is one thing I want to work to, but I don't know how I'm going to paint all models. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's exciting to hear that you're going to be going down in scale a little bit. And then, oh. Our guys are very interested. <laughs> yeah. We'll ignore the seven inch <laughs> model, you know. That's okay. We'll let that one slide. Well, hope you enjoy the rest of the show here. Will do. You too. It's great to see you. You too, man.